Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, it's your boy Diomo Damuto, we're back with another video. Alright, today we're going to be watching a um, video about boxing stars, when cocky fighters got what they deserve, part 5. I watched part 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I, watched, I haven't watched one of the videos in a minute, man, so... We gotta get into it, man. I mean, I, I gotta get back on my boxing, man. So let's get into it. They copyrighted me last time, so hopefully they don't do that. Well, like, like well, I don't, the video's still up, but you know how it is. In did. 2014, Alexander Povetkin and Manuel Char squared off for the big oh, yeah, he WPC cut. International Heavyweight title in Moscow, Russia. Yeah, he cut. No rapid punch, no headbutt, no low blow. No low blow. I like shit. A frustrated Char continued to hit Povetkin after the bell in both the first and second rounds. Now nah, you wild. Char also Two times? That's he just be disqualified. More after he was caught by heavy shots. Knock his ass out. Knock his ass out. Get off the ropes. Don't do that. Right, you think he's young? Fuck his ass up. Alright, keep flexing. Woo. Hit that nigga. He got what he asked for in round seven after Pavetkin landed a brutal combination that dropped him flat on his back. Woo! Come on. Took that boy out. Hit him. Hit him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What did he say? What, what that song goes? We fall down and we get up. Oh, he cooked. They didn't land on the camera. Oh, yeah. On October 15th, 2022, former super middleweight champions Caleb Plant and Anthony Durrell met in a WBC title eliminator bout in Brooklyn, New York. The two fighters exchanged verbal jabs during the press conference, which Durrell continued during their contest. He, he don't even know me, so um, mm. October 15th is definitely going to be fireworks. He's don't even be running, uh, man. Stop it. Sounds good. Running. Sounds good. You're running. So, you know you but, running. Uh, you ain't never you know, sat there with nobody. Even on, even on his nobody. social media the other you day, you know, he had the nobody. Bernard Hopkins versus Joe Kazaki thing. You ain't never thing. sat there with nobody. Um, Run. You know, saying, I'll never let a white Run. boy beat me. I'll never let a white boy beat me. And, you know, boxing nor life has ever been about race or color to me. But you remember what happened in that fight, right? Since that's what you wanted to post up. Oh, shit. So. Be quiet now. Like I said. It ain't Run. never been about race or color to me. Run. But come October Run. 15th, when I do beat him, Run. it won't be because I'm white. It won't be because of what I look well, like. It, it anyway. won't have nothing to do with none of that. Well, It'll be because I'm better anything. than him. It'll be because I'm better than him. That's why I'm going to beat him. But he already knows that. And that's why he hates me. Because like I said, he don't know me personally. He don't know me enough to hate me. So why, why would you hate me unless you know that you can't fuck with me? That's why he hates me. He gonna really hit me on October 15th, so. Oh, talk your shit, talk so your shit. You let another man smack you, you a You Shut up. With, with bad blood. Good. Sound good. You Maybe that's like what I you said, want. You that make, maybe you that's his job. Man smack you wanna make sure that another man his smack career, me, he might got the die. You wanna make sure at the you, end of his Hey, you, you know, I'm Anthony Durrell. I never. He triple timed it with him. And he said he, 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 he was a different. A di oh, no, no, it's gonna go off already. Durrell gets him in a headlock. They're gonna get closer and closer, and they're gonna start touching. Get a minute, get a penalty. Oof. And like that, right hand from Durrell. Another right hand. Around this year. Round two, okay. Hit him with it, hit him with it. But then came back, Frank came back with his own right hand left hook. The threat of that left hook is always there. Nice, nice slide out. Right, 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 That's going right, 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 right,
You hit him in the back of the head, man. You're going to get away with a certain amount of that. Good hooks. Yeah, that hook landed from Plant. Durrell says I'm all right, but you know what? It's a scoring shot and it drove him back. And you know, wrestling takes a lot of energy out of you as well. You know? yeah. Hey, baby, why you playing so dirty, nigga? Come on. Fight, nigga. I guess in favor of plant. Jabs landed 42 to 12. In favor of I, mean, I ain't know it's wrestling, boy. What the fuck? But in the final seconds of round nine, plant unleashed a vicious left hook that landed flush on Durrell's chin, knocking him out cold to the canvas. Oh, yeah. I mean, they both pretty cocky towards each other, so. But I get it. Got that nigga. He got that. Frustrated from the histrionics throughout, but you don't want that. If I saw correctly, plant through a left hook. Pow. And then really came upstairs with a hard short left hook. And that was that. It was a fake to the body left hook. On December 29th, 2015, Naoya Inoue defended his WBA World is. Super Flyweight title against Marlito Perenas in Tokyo, Japan. I don't know. None of these fighters is. Each time Inoa connected with his shots, Perennis simply dropped his hands and mocked the champion. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. I don't like this nigga's socks, though. What the fuck? That nigga not even matching. That might be his lucky socks. Well, he ain't like he made you lucky today. However, this soon proved to be a wrong tactic in the second round as he knew it dropped Perennis along the ropes. Perennis got back to his feet, but Inua went for a kill, stopping the challenger with a right cross, followed by two left hooks as he was on his way down. Oh my god. He could. On October 29th, 1991, Riddick Bo and Elijah Tillery met for the first time for the vacant WBC Continental Americas heavyweight title in Washington, D.C. Tillery began taunting Bo during the instructions by giving him Bo. a kiss, and this would continue during the contest. Okay, any questions, blue corner? Any questions, red corner? Let's get it on, gang. Get it on, gang. Oh, yeah, he cut. Get him out. Get him out of here, Reddy. Get him out of here, Reddy. Bo dropped Tillery with a left in the final seconds of round one. What the fuck happened? And after the bell, Tillery blew another kiss, which infuriated Bo. You get your ass, why you blowing kisses? Bo responded with a jab while Tillery began kicking him, which led to a kicking. brawl in the ring. Kicking. I like shit. Yeah, who that big ass nigga that came to the ring? God damn, who that nigga Dwight? That nigga with that white shirt came in, that bitch bigger than everybody. He kicked me any punch, but at the same time, kicked me again. Well, he kicked me about three times, right? Then he got yoked. Kicking is crazy, though. And this is where your manager, Rod Newman, who's becoming a star here on USA. Uh, that nigga, hey, I like shit. I need y'all niggas to have my back like this, man. Have my back like this, bro. Tillery was controversially disqualified, and Bo was announced the winner. Of course. I mean, they, I mean, they, 
Therefore, the winner by disqualification, and still undefeated. We got robbed. And the brand we new robbed. WBC robbed. heavyweight champion, Riddick Big Daddy Bo. Nah, Big Daddy's crazy. On September 15th, 2018, David Lemieux and Gary Spike O'Sullivan oh, no. met in a WBA middleweight eliminator bout in Las Vegas, Nevada. Beat you. During the press conference, O'Sullivan vowed to smash oh, yeah. Lemieux's head and even oh, continued taunting him during the face-off. Uh, he need to lose right now. I'm so glad he lost. Smell that? I think I smell fear. Him and his mustache oh, lost. I like it. I just passed him in the corridor there. I think I can smell a bit of shit as well. I was shit I'm uh, Took all I had in my resolve, my discipline. I had to smash your head right there in the, in the lobby. Yeah. A greasy piece of shit. Uh, that nigga cry. They clapping, for. Saturday night, we're going to fight. The talking will be done. And it's going to be like our careers. The fight will be like our careers. He's on the way down. I'm on the way up. I'm coming for Triple G or Canelo, the winner. Saturday night, be ready, you little greasy piece of shit. You little greasy, yeah, he talking. Where is Canada? Oh, they want to go right now. Save it for the ring, gentlemen. Tomorrow night, HBO, pay-per-view. Tomorrow on night. However, with less than a minute in the opening round, Damn. Lemieux connected with a brutal left hook, sending O'Sullivan crashing to the canvas. Power and genders. I ain't gonna lie, talking about this shit in... Oh, shit. That's the reason you have to be careful against David Lemieux. A left hook puts Sullivan on the canvas, and Russell Mora is gonna stop the fight. He did the right thing, Jim. He did the right thing. That's why I always say that. I'm easy and getting, easy and getting out that from the bitches, bro. There's no bad bitches in there. It's empty, them motherfucker. And David Lemieux is more than a big puncher. He is a lights out, super explosive puncher. We didn't even have a chance to get into it, but this was, as in our main event, a grudge match. These two guys didn't like each other. They were talking smack. Oh, yeah, he cooked. To the fight. We were going to start talking about that. I need looking for his mustache. In 2017, Alexander Usyk faced Marco Hook in the World Ooh. Boxing Super Series Cruiserweight Tournament in Berlin, Germany. Hook pushed Usyk during the face-offs before uttering some swear words in Russian. How you want that nigga? You want him? Appearing before you get a clip around the ear. Like this? But Uzi got his revenge and dominated the fight until it was stopped in the 10th round. Knock his ass out. Knock his ass out. Dodging this shit. Yeah, he was getting his ass whooped. 
Who got the Uzi? What's up? On March 25th, 2017, oh. Zimbabwean fighter Charles Manucci defended his WPC welterweight world silver title against Uzbekistani Kudratilo Abu Kajarov in Singapore. Before the fight, Manucci vowed that he won't allow the less experienced Abu Kajarov oh, to become could. the world champion. But I'm a champion. I've got the history. I don't allow. I always protect WBC. I don't allow a boxer who has less than 10 fights to be a champion in the, of, of the world. Never, 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 yeah. never. We yeah. Shay La Nevers, boy. Thank you. You're cooked. However, in just one round, Abdu Kajara floored Manucci twice in quick succession to become the new champion. Well, shit, this arena really emptied the motherfucker. I know he bullshitting. All that bullshitting. All that bullshitting. That's what you get. That's what you get, nigga. Why the ref let the nigga fight again? He was obviously not ready to fight. Which of these fights is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. That last one was crazy. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to now that last one was crazy. another interesting update from this channel. Now that last one was crazy. That nigga was playing around way too much, bro. Uh, hands down. Fake wobbling, that shit crazy. Just to wobble for real? Nah, 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 nah. You need your ass for that. I would drop you at my. If I, if I was your manager, I'd drop you. I ain't gonna lie. That was fine. Uh, shout out to Boxing Stars for this video, man. Hey, bro. Hey, never doubt your opponent. Never doubt your opponent. But anyway, if you like your, if you like my reaction, you like comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.